Lynn, expectations sky high for this team. That was evident as they averaged over 15,000 a game at spring training in Sloan Park. What team do you think is the biggest threat to beat the Cubs for the NL pennant? Well, I, I tell you, Kelly, there are a lot of really good teams and probably a lot of really bad teams in the National League. I think there's more parity over in the AL. The Mets with this uh, starting rotation uh, will be reckoned with. I think the Nationals will bounce back uh, after a disappointing year last year. You've got the Cardinals and Pirates in, in your own division. The Cubs, remember, finished third last year. And I really like the Diamondbacks out west, and I think the San Francisco Giants, if they figure out uh, their starting rotation, they've got some veteran guys who did not have good springs. But uh, if they are good, Samarja, Cueto, Bumgarner, if you expect him to be good, I think the Giants will be right there as well. Yeah, it should be fun night in and night out to catch those games. Well, who on this squad? We just heard from Ben Zobris. I know Addison Russell is one of the names people are throwing out there. But who do you think could be the X factor for the Cubs taking the next step this season? I think Addison Russell is poised to eventually become an MVP candidate. It may not be this year uh, at age 22, but uh, we've seen a lot more pop in the bat. He's back at his natural position shortstop defensively I thought last year at second base he was as good as anybody in the league so quietly he's going to become one of the best players uh, on this team so I think it's it's his year to really step up and I think from the pitching side of things John Lester in year two is just a little more comfortable I think he put a lot of pressure on himself after signing the long term contract last season he had a very strong spring if he can stop the running game his stuff looked very good in the month of March I think he's poised to have a really good season. Good stuff well other than Javier Baez the Cubs left camp healthy that was the main goal and really Jed and Theo have talked a lot about that being the difference long terms in this season who could this team least afford to lose to injury for an extended amount of time. That's a great question. I mean, you probably start with Jake Arrieta, right? The the ace, the the MVP, or the uh, Cy Young Award winner from last year. And I guess I would say him, and not a position player, because there's so much depth in the lineup. Uh, if you have to be without one of your star position players for 15 days, or maybe a month, or more than that, I still feel like they can score runs. But uh, you'd be hard pressed to to be without one of your top starters, particularly Jake, for any length of time. A young winner, certainly. Well. Lynn, we know Joe Madden loves to tinker with his lineup, and this year's roster gives him maybe even more flexibility. I'll set the over-under for different lineups at 150. Which one are you taking? I think there will be more of a set lineup this year than he had last year, but you're going to see a lot of maneuvering later in the ball game. So to me, Fowler, Hayward, 1-2 is pretty solid. I think Rizzo's going to mostly hit cleanup. You might see Bryant and Zobris kind of move around a little bit. But I think this lineup will be a little bit more set than people think, so I guess I'll go with the under.